Okay, we are now going to talk about permutations and combinations. So we're going to go into an ice cream shop and we're going to buy three different scoops of ice cream and we've got six different flavours to choose between. So the question is, how many different combinations of ice cream could I put together? I could start with chocolate, then go vanilla strawberry, or I could go chocolate strawberry orange, or chocolate lemon raspberry. So that how would we work this out mathematically? And the way that we do it, there are two ways mathematically. There's one way and we talk about permutations. And permutations means order does matter. That if I say I want lemon ice cream first on the bottom, it has to be on the bottom. So this is the simplest one where order does matter. So if we're going to look at how many possibilities there are of me having different ice creams here. The first time I can choose a scoop of ice cream, and I'm saying I'm not using the same flavour twice. I have to have three different scoops. I've got six different ones I can choose between. So my first possibility for scoops of ice creams is I've got six different ones that I can choose between. Then once I've chosen one, let's say for example I choose chocolate, I can't choose chocolate again. So next time around I've actually got five different types of ice cream that I can choose. So let's say that I chose strawberry. Now I've only got four different types of ice cream that I can choose. So that I get four the third time. Now I've got all three ice creams. So if I'm allowed to choose three flavours from six different possibilities, the number of different combinations I could have with 6 times 5, which is 30, and 30 times 4, which is 120. So there are actually 120 different ways I could make an ice cream with six different flavours and three scoops. That's if order matters. That is, if I say that I want a lemon ice cream first, followed by a chocolate ice cream, followed by a vanilla ice cream. It has to be in that order. And this is when we call it permutation. Order does matter. We say that VLC is not the same as CLV. Okay? And then we call it a permutation. But let's look at when, what, what happens when we say, well, does it matter which order they're in? I'm still going to eat the same ice cream. So then we would call it instead combinations, where order doesn't matter. And how do we do that? So the way we can think of uh, permutations is we take the number of combinations that are possible and multiply it by the number of things we want. There's a way of writing that mathematically, and I'll give you the formula for those of you that love formulas. Let's say, and in maths terms, we write it like this. I've got six different flavours to choose between, and I would like three scoops of ice cream. So I've got six possibilities, and I have three of them that I'm interested in. And the way that we write that mathematically is we would take 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. So the number to the left of the P on the top and the number to the right of the P on the bottom. Then you have to ask yourself, what does factorial mean? Well, factorial is a, is a, is a mathematic term where it means 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It means start at 6 and go downwards each time. And 3 factorial means, of course, start at 3 and go downwards by 1. 3 times 2 times 1. We can see here we've got 3 times 2 times 1. That's going to cancel. We can see here we've got 3 times 2 times 1. That's going to cancel. So this formula sort of lets you know how you can work out the number of permutations quite easily using the number to the left as a factorial on the top, the number to the right as a factorial on the bottom. And if I'd had, let's say that we'd change this to two scoops, then this formula would change to two factorial on the bottom, the three would stay here on the top, there would be no 3 on the bottom here, and we'd get 2 times 1, and 2 times 1. So we'd get 30 times 12. So if I was going to have um, uh, 4 scoops of ice cream, there'd be 3 twelves of 36, 
there'd be 360 combinations. So this is permutations, and in the next video I'll explain combinations and the difference between permutations and combinations. Mm -hmm.